Okay, you'll take the adjustable base out of the oven, place the stabler, stabilometer onto it. You're going to take a measurement from the bottom of that metal ring down to the top of the base. It should measure three and a half inches or 89 millimeters. The oven temperature is always 60 C or 140 F. Okay, once you've taken that measurement, you're going to be taking the thick walled cylinder out of the oven called the follower, placing it into the stabilometer, and then you'll be turning the horizontal pressure up to 20 psi, and then you will allow it to stabilize. While it's stabilizing, it's heating the oil in the bladder. Once it has stopped moving, you're going to take the follower out, place it back in the oven, and get the thin walled cylinder out, the calibration cylinder, place it into the stabilometer, and then you're going to turn the horizontal pressure to 100 psi, and once again allow it to stabilize. Simultaneously, you'll be adjusting the turns displacement dial to zero. So it takes a little time for it to all stabilize. When you're done, you want the horizontal pressure at 100 and the turns displacement dial at zero. Once you have both of those dials set, you're going to be turning the horizontal pressure handle out exactly two turns, watching the turns displacement dial. And then you're going to look at the horizontal pressure dial and see if it is at 5 psi. So if the needle is a little above the 5 psi, you're going to have to let air out. If it's below, you're going to have to let a little air in. So with the calibration cylinder still in place, with it set at 5 psi, you'll measure the exposed piston length, which needs to be 2.8 plus or minus 0.2, which tells you if there's enough oil in the bladder. So you'll be taking the calibration cylinder out then, and you'll be removing a specimen from the 140 oven, placing powder around the outside of your specimen, or you can actually put powder on the inside of the stabilometer in the bladder. Allow it to slide down into the stabilometer. If it doesn't slide down, turn the handle out till it easily slides down. Making sure it's in there firmly. Then you're going to place a follower above it. Turn the horizontal pressure to 5 psi. And then you're going to carry the stabilometer over to the United Compression Machine, the proctor will lower the head. After you've centered it underneath there, they're going to lower the head until it's just about touching the follower. Once they've completed that, then you're going to have to recheck and make sure that your horizontal pressure is still set at 5 psi. Once you've done that, then the proctor will start the test for you. They'll ask you what the rate is, which is 0.05 inches per minute. They'll ask you when you're going to take your first reading, which is at 5,000 pounds. You'll be able to watch on the computer screen when it gets close. You'll take your reading, which in this case is about 32, write your reading down, and then it's automatically programmed to drop to 1,000, at which time you will then reset your horizontal pressure to 5 psi, zero out your turns displacement dial. Notice what the turns, what turns it's on, and go two turns per second from 5 to 100. So in which case it is 3.76. Subtract the one turn that was already on there, so you would have a 2.76 as your reading.